guys welcome back so we are back now for part two of my collection series i'm gonna go through these first three drawers right here and then the last two and then over here will be part three so let's go ahead and get started Okay guys, so if we open this first drawer, this is obviously all of my single eyeshadows. So we'll start over here in the back actually. So this little basket houses all of my pigments from e.l.f. I've got Wet n Wild, all my MAC pigments are in here, Maybelline. So those just sit right there. We got my hard candy pigments in here. So those are all my dry pigments. And then if you go over here, I've got even more pigments and then these stick form eyeshadows. I got some from Urban Decay, some from NYX, I got some from NYC, e.l.f. So we'll go over here to the ColourPop collection. So if you guys want to see, and then we're going to move over here to the ColourPop section. Yes, I have a lot of ColourPop eyeshadows. I'm absolutely in love with ColourPop and their products. They honestly have not put out a product I have not liked. So those all sit here. And if you want to see an in-depth video on all the shades I own, I will happily do that for you guys with swatches if you want to see that. So let me know down below if you do. Over here, we have all of my Wet n Wild single eyeshadows. I'm pretty sure I have all the ones they've ever put out in the drugstore as of right now, at least in my collection, because I love them that much. And then along the side here, I have all of my Palladio Crush Metallic eyeshadows. And then if you move over one to the right, I have all of my cream formula eyeshadows, I guess you can say. So these are all from e.l.f., these first two rows. I've got the cream eyeshadows from e.l.f., I've got a smudge pot, and I've also got the long-lasting lustrous eyeshadows. These are actually really close dupe to the ColourPop eyeshadows, though they're not as good as ColourPop, if I'm being honest. And then over here, I've got all of my Maybelline by iStudio color tattoos that just sit right there. Two more Maybelline eyeshadow dupes. These are the color Moltens. Again, very comparable to ColourPop, but not as good. And then these little weird tubey things are the Milani Crystallized Eyeshadows. They say sparkling eyeshadow, but they come off more as like a glitter glue, if you will. So these just sit here and they mainly get used during the Halloween season. And if we move over once more, I've got all of my e.l.f. baked eyeshadows. These all get housed in here. And then these are all of the Milani Bella eyeshadows. And these two big things are just two different eyeshadows I got from a Shop Miss A haul. So these just sit right there. And then lastly over here, I got some more Milani baked eyeshadows. These are actually beautiful as well. I've got a Rimmel eyeshadow here. I've got some more Hard Candy eyeshadows, a CoverGirl eyeshadow. I've got two of the L'Oreal Infallible eyeshadows, a Too Faced little shadow. And then this last thing is just an eyeshadow duo from Maybelline so that just sits right there so yeah that is my single eyeshadow collection and then if we go down one this is my blush bronzer and highlighter drawer I'll give you guys a quick little overview of everything all right, so we'll go ahead and start with the bronzers over here. So I got some from Stila. This is a Milani one. This is from Cargo. This one over here is from Hard Candy, e.l.f. These are all Wet n Wild bronzers until you get to this last one, and this is a Rimmel one. But I absolutely love the Wet n Wild bronzers. This right here, these three are all limited edition bronzer wheels from Wet n Wild, so those just get housed right there. I've got the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzer in the shade Sunny. All right, so in the back, I've got my Too Faced bronzer. Bronzer wardrobe that sits back there. I've got the Urban Decay Naked Flushed Native Palette. I've got my I've got my Hard Candy Look Pro Ultimate Contour and Sculpt Kit back here, and I also have this Blush and Bronzer Mini Palette from Coastal Scents that just sits way in the back. Move up here. These are all of my blushes. I don't really wear blush a lot, but I do own quite a few blushes just to experiment with them. So this first one is a Blush Balm from Absolute New York. I've got the Baby Skin Instant Cheek Flush. I've got the Demi Lovato Liquid Blush that sits right. Here here. I've got a couple e.l.f. blushes down here. I've got a Palladio blush. This one's from NYX. It's supposed to be a highlighter, but this is definitely more of a blush, so I don't know why they advertise it as a highlighter. I've got this Laura Geller blush. Again, another e.l.f. one. This is a Physicians Formula one. These are all Wet n Wild. This is my Maybelline Dream Bouncy blush. All these, again, are Wet n Wild. And then over here, I've got a Makeup Geek blush. These are all e.l.f. blushes. This one is another blush I got from uh, Shop Miss A. That sits right there. And then this is my favorite blush blush right now. This is the Essence Silky Touch blush in the shade Baby Doll. This is a beautiful everyday blush. And then over here again is another beautiful everyday blush. This is the Cheek Glow from NYC in the shade Riverside Rose. 
Alright guys, and to the right of my blush section, I held two palettes. This one is from BH Cosmetics. This is the Glamorous Blush Palette. That is what she looks like, and I honestly only use these shades right here because they're more wearable. But and this is a W7 blush bronzer and highlighter palette that just sits there as well. And then over here is my highlighting section. This entire section right here is all highlighters. As you can see, I'm obsessed with highlighters like everyone else. So the first two highlighters I own, I have the e.l.f. Shimmer Palette and the Physicians Formula Shimmer Strip. And then I also have some limited edition Wet n Wild highlighters. These are the Summer Collection ones that released this past summer. And then over here, I've got some Hard Candy highlighters. This is an e.l.f. highlighter. This is a ColourPop highlighter. This one is from Cougar. And this is an Ofra highlighter. And then if you look out back here, I've got my strobing kit from Hard Candy. I've got the Jeffree Star Cosmetic Skin Frost in Ice Cold. I've got my Wet n Wild highlighters, some more highlighters from Wet n Wild. I have a lot of Wet n Wild, guys, just in case you haven't noticed. The more Wet n Wild highlighters is the Rainbow highlighter. This is a Hard Candy highlighter. Another Wet n Wild highlighter. This is a Revlon highlighter. This is in Peach Glow. Have not used it yet. I found it at Big Lots, and I was so... Another Wet n Wild highlighter. I have my blotting sheets right here. I've got this Blush and Glow Duo from Beauty For Real. And these are all just sample highlighters that I've gotten in different Ipsy bags and sample sizes I got from Sephora, things like that. Those sit right there. I was gonna save this one for the next video, but we've got time, so I'm gonna go ahead and just show you guys now. This is my bigger palette section. So, this is my bigger palette drawer, so we'll start over here. I've got two Wet n Wild palettes up front, my Lorac Pro palette, Urban Decay Naked Basics palette, a Jessie's Girl palette, LA Colors palette, Makeup Forever palette. Over here, I've got my Studio Makeup palette, another Makeup Forever palette. This is Victoria's Secret. This is my Ofra Pro palette with all of my Morphe shadows in it. This is my Sephora Ombre Obsessions palette. This was from last year's holiday release. This is the Pride and Prejudice Zombies palette from BH Cosmetic. I've got the Too Faced Stardust palette that I wanted to give away last year. This is my Take Me to Brazil palette, the Forever Nude palette, Dark Rose palette from BH Cosmetics. As you can see, I love BH Cosmetics a lot. 88 color eyeshadow palette. These two are from ELF, I think. Actually, no, this one's from BH Cosmetics. This one is from ELF. Another BH Cosmetics palette. And then back here, this one is from Sephora. Now back, I've got some hard candy ones. And the way, way back, I've got the Sephora palette from last year. So that just sits back there. All right, so up here, I've got the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. I've got the Revealed 2 palette and Revealed 3 palette from Coastal Sun. I've got this Too Faced face palette that I don't even know how to use. This is one of the five or six of the Maybelline The Nudes palettes, the entire collection. I own all of them. This one is from W7, the Neon Nights Electric Eyeshadow Palette. This is the NYC Lovotics by Demi Palette. These two are from W7. These are my Hard Candy Eyeshadow Palettes, and this is my huge Wet n Wild Collective Palette that just sits right there. So, is it for two of this collection series? Stay tuned for part three next week, and I will see you guys next video. Love you guys. Bye.